So the past few weeks, I've been posting individual videos showcasing the best AI video generators like Runway, Luma, and Kling AI. Well, in this video, I wanted to do a deep dive on their capabilities and compare the results. I'm gonna break this down into categories and each comparison will receive a certain amount of points out of 10. Whoever has the most points at the end of the video will be deemed the best AI video generator well, the best video generator at this point in time. To kick things off, that Lamborghini commercial that I generated in Runway, I've now generated that video in Luma and I've also generated it in Kling. Let's have a look at the comparison. In the heart of the mountains, a legend awakens. Whispering secrets of the sea. A symbol of desire in the shadows of the night. Chasing horizons with unspoken elegance. Crafted in shadows, emerging in light. Feel the thrill, hear the roar. Become part of the legend. Lamborghini, unveil the mystery. Leave a comment below to tell me which one you guys like the most. Let's start with the cost for all of the video generators. ChatGPT has helped me break down the cost for all of the subscription plans. So Luma has this thing where you get 30 free generations per month. This is the best value for anyone wanting a substantial amount of free content generation. Kling's standard plan offers the most amount of credits for the least amount of money. And Runway's unlimited $95 plan offers the best value for creators working on massive projects. So all of the video generators have one good thing about it when it comes to pricing. For that, they all get 10 points each. Now let's have a look at the interface for every video generator. Now this may be subjective based on everybody's preference, but this is what stood out for me. So when I'm using Kling, when I wanna switch between text and video and image to video, I literally just have to click and it switches. For Runway, I can either just upload the image here or I can just enter my prompt here. And for Luma, I can just enter the prompt here or I can literally just add the image by clicking on this button. Next, I wanna do generation preview. So in Runway, when my video finishes generating, it pops up on the right here in this medium sized window. And I can also scroll up and down between earlier generations. When my video finishes generating in Luma, it always pops up underneath. And when you click into it, it opens up in a new window. Now for Kling, when the video finishes generating, you get this big window in the middle of the screen, which I prefer, especially because you're constantly looking at your generations and reviewing them. So you do want a big sized window. And it also has a scroll wheel on the right here, which lets you look at earlier generations. Now here's the reason why I gave Kling the most points for this category. That same scroll wheel on the right lets me filter between text to video and image to video generations. It also has this expand option right here which sort of pushes out the videos which which helps you search for the video that you're after now when you click onto a different video that was generated it automatically pre-populates the prompt and settings that were used lastly when you close the window and reopen it you pretty much all the information is still there now when you do this in runway literally if you close it and then you reopen it again you'll literally have to start from scratch and you lose all of your generations and then you have to go to assets to find them, which is, I'd prefer them to all stay here, to be honest. So Luma gets eight points, Runway gets nine, and Kling gets 10 points for interface. Okay, now I'm gonna showcase five text-to-video generations all from each converter. Keep an eye out for my ratings for each individual generation. Okay, now I'm gonna showcase five image to video generations from all of the converters.
All right, the last thing I want to do is I want to give some penalty and some bonuses for all of the generators based on features. Now for Kling, when I'm providing it an enhanced image from Krea AI, sometimes I'll see this message where it says the maximum file size is 10 megabytes, but the other generators don't have that problem. So they lose one point for that. Runway does not have an end frame feature, okay? So Kling and Luma both have an end frame feature. There's Luma's one and Kling's one is right here. So Runway doesn't have that, so they lose one point. Luma and Kling both gain one point. Kling gets a point for having the option to select the frame size for text to video. Runway and Luma don't have that, weirdly enough. Luma loses a point because they don't have an initial 10 second generation. Kling has no caps when they're generating. Kling has no cap for multiple generations at a time. At one point, I think I was generating 16 generations in one time. The most I get for Runway is about five or six generations and Luma's only one. So Kling gets one point for that. Runway has this lip sync feature for the generations, which lets the character speak. They get one point for having that as an additional feature. So that's it for my comparison, guys. I haven't tallied up all the points yet, but you can probably see it on the screen right now. If I had to choose from my overall testing and from my experience, I would choose Runway Gen 3 at this point in time. That being said, I'm on the unlimited plan because I need it for what I'm doing. So I guess the best generator could be different based on what you're using. It for. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below which one's the best one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.